Christmas, we welcome you. Tonight, we're going to say, pray Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that joy comes when we know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Thank you, God, for who you are. We lift up the name of Jesus. We praise the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. Join right in with us tonight as we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Please welcome, put your hands together in the air at home with us for Pastor Alvin Simpkins. Oh, it's good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. God is a good God. He loves you, and everything is going to be all right. God is on your side. Goodness and mercy is going to follow you all the days of your life, and we just declare and decree that God is on your side. Take your Bibles tonight and go with me to Mark 11 and chapter, tw uh, chapter 11, verse number 23. Matthew, Mark, Luke and then John. Mark 11 and chap chapter 11 and verse number 23. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his or her heart, shall be and but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he say. You're going to have whatsoever you say. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for the power of words. Thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your goodness and all your mercy. We come to worship you tonight. We come to praise you. Thank you for forgiving us for all of our sin. We thank you for joy. Somebody shout joy. Joy. You are going to have what you say. My message tonight is the power of, of affirmation. You're going to have what you say. Victory comes to your life through your mouth. You're going to have what you say. You know, during this time at home, we must bridle our tongues with our families in close quarters. You know, not being able to go where we want to go. We have to bridle our tongues. And you have to say something good to your family. Say something good to the people that are closest to you. Say something good to the people that you love the most. What comes out of your mouth will determine your future. Tonight, we're going to talk about the things that comes out of our mouth and what we say. You know, determine the happiness of your life and your family with your tongue. If you keep saying negative things, negative things are going to manifest in your life. We must speak faith into our future, and we must declare the Lord is on our side. Your words are spirit, and they are life. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And we have to know tonight, we got to say good things. Somebody say good things. You know, what you say is what you're going to get. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So at home, you got to speak life. Even to your pets. Even to everybody around you. Speak life. Positive words usher in a new dimension of living for the Christian. you got to say something good. The secret in life is your tongue. It's not the devil, it's not your haters, it's not your enemies, it's not anything. It's what are you saying out of your mouth. Humans speak what they believe and think, and often it causes defeat into their lives. But you got to speak faith. you got to declare the Lord is on our side. Somebody put on the screen, speak faith. Let the redeemed of the Lord, what? Say so. Numbers 14, 28 is a very powerful scripture. God had brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And Moses had brought them out. With the, with the, God had brought them out through the, through the leadership of Moses. 
but they were complaining about everything. They were murmuring about everything. And then God told them in Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28, Say unto them, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, as you have spoken it in my ears, so will I do unto you. God is listening. Exactly what you say is what's going to happen in your life. God hears every word. And he is going to respond based upon what you are saying. Maybe you are holding up your prayers, but you got to begin to say, the Lord is going to answer my prayer. Goodness and mercy is going to follow me. I have favor. Somebody out there shout favor. You got to begin to speak it in your, into your life. You got to tell God how big he is. You got to declare the power of God over your life. You got to remind him that he is the, bigger than anything in the world. You are bigger than any problem. You are bigger than any sickness. You are bigger than any disease. You are bigger than any problem. You're going to have what you say as you are in a close corridors with your family. You got to say good things to your son. You got to say good things to your daughter. No fussing. Somebody put on the screen, no fussing. No fussing. No fussing. Families fuss and cuss too much. And it stops the blessing of the Lord in their lives. We will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Words are spirit and they are life. The Bible says in John 6 and 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, Jesus said, they are spirit and they are what? Life. In your family during this time, make it fun. Reset your life with words. Apologize. Say I'm sorry. Oh, I feel some pressure in here tonight. Say I'm sorry. You know, just say something good to the people that you love. And declare that we're going to get along and we're going to get beyond these days. And the Lord is on our side. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Somebody say reset. reset. Some of you families out there need to reset. You need to start all over again with good words, with positive words, with words of affirmation, with words that build up and not tear down and break the curse. Somebody say break the curse. Break the curse of negative words that you have spoken, that people have spoken over your life. Confess that they are wrong. That's not who I am. Disagree with them. And erase it from your soul, your spirit, and your mind. I'm a child of the king. God is on our side. Ask the Lord to release you from any verbal, any curses that have ever been spoken over your life, going back to your childhood. You got to pronounce favor. Somebody say favor. Somebody say, I have favor. Say it again, I have favor. You got to pray and plead the blood and break the curse. Break the curse of negative words, ladies, that men have spoken over you before you divorced them years ago. Break the curse of negative words that people, or maybe your mom or your dad, has said to you. Break the curse. And declare, I'm a child of the Most High God. I have favor. I'm going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Do I have anybody out there that know what I'm talking about? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We must break the curse of critical, condemning, cutting, and negative words that have been spoken over our lives. And then you have to declare, the Lord is on my side. These words, we have to speak words that are gentle. I want to talk with you tonight about three dimensions of your words. The three dimensions of your word. Number one, your life will follow your words. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. You can't blame your mama. You can't blame your daddy. You can't blame the devil. You can't blame your grandma. You can't blame nobody. It's not what they say, it's what you say. And you got to say, I'm a child of the king. You have to say, I'm a child of the king. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We got to declare the Lord is on my side. Stop cursing yourself and stop cursing your family with negative words. We got to declare goodness and mercy is going to follow me. Woo! Your life will follow your words. 
say good things and speak life. We're going to get beyond the coronavirus. The coronavirus is not the end. We got to declare the Lord is on our side. We're going to pray. We're going to read our word. We're going to take advantage of the time we got alone. We're going to enjoy life. Somebody say enjoy life. Say good things and speak life. Someone has put on the screen, speak life. Speak life. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We must break the curse. Curses that have been spoken over our lives and over our families. Somebody say, break the curse. Your life follows your words. You will have whatever you say. Just keep saying it. If you keep saying in your marriage, I'm going to divorce you. Sooner or later, you'll be downtown at the divorce house. You, you got to stop saying it. You got to say, we can live together. We can live in happiness. We can live with joy in our life. Break the curse of negative words. Your life follows your words. Your life follows your words. Number two, the second dimension of your words is your future follows your words. Your future Proverbs 4.24 says, put away from thee a fraud mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. Somebody say, speak life. Speak good things into your future. Your future is going to follow your words. Don't curse your future. Declare blessings over your tomorrows. Tomorrow, I have hope for tomorrow. I believe in tomorrow. Tomorrow is on its way. Therefore, I'm going to declare good things. Somebody say good things over my life, over my family. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope or an expected end. Your future follows your words. And we must do all that we can to speak faith out of our mouth. We must do all that we can. Now that we are at home with our family, quarantine, you got to begin to say good things. Thank you, that was a good meal. Thank you for whatever you did for me. Thank you, I'm glad you're in my life. Thank you for all your help. I appreciate all your blessings, and it will help your family to stay up in a down time. Speak life. Somebody say, speak life. Put it on the screen. Speak life. People curse themselves. They curse their families. They curse their blessings. I know years ago, a young lady who was in church, and she was in her mid-30s, and she couldn't find a mate. And so every time my wife and I would see her, she would always say, well, I can't find nobody. I'm, I'd rather be dead. See, your life and your future follows your words. Well, one day she woke up dead. They never found out what caused her death. She cursed her future. True story. You got to say the Lord is on my side. Something good it's going to happen to me. I have favor. Somebody say favor. Your life follows your words. Your future follows your words. And then you have to know God will bless your life. Jesus said in Matthew 12, 34 to 37. Oh, generation of vipers, how can you being evil, evil speak good things out of the abundance of your heart? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Then he said, but I say unto you that every idle word that a man shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by your words thou shalt be justified, and by your words thou shalt be condemned. This is the season that we live in where we got to declare this is not the end. The coronavirus is not the end. God is on our side. He's going to bring us through. Goodness and mercy is following us. And we got to call in favor. Somebody shout favor. Your future belongs to the words that you speak daily. If you say, I'm never going to graduate from college, that's true. You're never going to graduate from college. 
If you declare that I, I'm never going to get a job, then guess what? You're not going to find a job. Your life follows your words, number one. Your future follows your words, number two. You, your future belongs to the words you speak every day. If you keep saying it and keep saying it, it's going to manifest. And it's not always the devil. It's what we speak out of our mouth. And that's why we got to speak positive. We got to declare good things. We got to pronounce favor. We got to decree the Lord is on my side. Somebody say amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And then number three. Number one, your life follows your word. Number two, your future follows your word. And number three, your miracles follows your word. And your answer prayer. If you keep saying the Lord hadn't answered my prayer, then you got to shut your mouth. And you got to begin to say, I know I'm going to get my prayer answered. He answered for me time and time again. And so I declare that I'm going to get my prayers answered. Mark eleven twenty three. 23, it said, we, he shall have whatsoever he saith. If you keep saying it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. If you keep arguing over and over and over at home, it's not going to happen. You're not going to have peace in your house. Your miracles, your possibilities, your favor, your blessings, and all the help of God is determined by the words that you say. Is there anybody out there hear what I'm saying tonight? Your, your words will determine your life, your future, and your blessings. It's not always the devil. Yes, he's alive. We've had to fight in my family now. But I want you to know, we, we, we begin to speak out, speak words that said the Lord is on our side. Goodness and mercy is going to follow us. This too shall pass. We have favor. Somebody say favor. You have to say it and pray it. Put it on the screen. You got to say it and pray it. You got to say it over and over again. Say it and pray it. You got to say it and pray it. When I was dating my wife, all I had was a bicycle. I rode my bicycle to see her. And, but I want you to know, I would always say, I'm going to get a car one day, baby. Then I'm going to let you ride with me in my car. And guess what? I just kept saying that every time I roll up to her house on the bicycle, I would say, baby, I'm going to get a car one day. And I kept saying it. And one day out of the blue, I got a car. And I went straight over to her place at Oral Roberts University. And I said, baby, get in my car. Let's go for a ride. Woo! You got to say it and pray it. Somebody say, say it and pray it. Over and over and over again. When you don't see nothing happen, you still got to say it. Call those things that be not as though they were. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost now. I'm on the right track now. The pushback is over. You got to say it and pray it. Words have tremendous power. Your words are spirit. Jesus said they are life. So you got to speak life to your son. Speak life to your daughter. Speak life to your husband. Speak life to your wife. Speak life to the dog. Speak life to the cat. Speak life to everything around you. Your miracles follows your words. And you got to begin to declare it. I'm going to have favor. I'm going to live my full life. Your miracles follow your words, church. If you criticize people, you will reap criticism always in your life. If you judge people, you will always be judged. Because with words, you reap what you sow. Woo! You reap what you say. So, if you curse people, you'll always be living under the curse. But you've come too far to live under judgment. You've come too far to live under curses. You've come too far to live under criticism. If you bless people, you'll be blessed. People will always find a reason to bless you. They'll always find a way to bless you. But you've come too far to live under criticism judgment and curses call in your blessings call in your favor call in your miracles call in your help 
Somebody shout help. Speak those things that be not as though they were. You may be broke today, but you got to declare, I'm going to have money one day. That's what I told my wife when I was dating her, riding a bicycle. I say, I'm broke today, but I'm going to have some money one day. See, your words, your life will follow your words. Your future will follow your words. Your miracles will follow your words. Your favor, somebody shout favor. Your favor was to follow your words. Say it and pray it. Say it and pray it. Say it and what? Pray it. Declare that if I'm down, I'm going to bounce back. And I'm going to stay up. Somebody say, stay up. Goodness and mercy is going to follow you all the days of your life. The problem with families today is we curse ourselves. We say negative things to our husbands. We say negative things to our wives. We are critical. And then we have the nerve to call them bad names. We curse our blessings. And then we say, well, why the Lord is not blessing us to pay off the $4,000 furnace? Because you curse yourself. You said we are always broke. You kept saying it at every paycheck. You kept saying it, we're always broke. You kept saying, we can't hide. You curse yourself. It ain't always no devil. Your life follows your word. Your favor follows your word. Your blessings follow your word. Your future follows your word. You got to declare, declare, I'm going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Do I have anybody out there that know what I'm talking about? I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Shut your mouth and praise the Lord. Shut your mouth and give him some glory. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. I'm going to trust in the Lord with all my heart. Lean not unto my own understanding. In all of my ways, I'm going to acknowledge him. Because he will direct my path. Somebody say, I am blessed. Come on, help the preach tonight. Say, I am blessed. Say, I have favor all over my life. Say it again. I have favor in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody give the Lord a hand clap. In your house, your life follows your word. Your future follows your word. Your blessings follow your words. All that you have follows your words. Your favor. Say something good. If your wife get on your nerves during this coronavirus season, bite your tongue. Don't say nothing. If your children get on your nerve during this season, hold your peace. Men, don't say nothing. Ladies, don't say nothing. If your neighbor get on your nerve, don't say nothing. Hold your peace. Your life follows your words. Your life follows your words. Your future follows your words. Your blessings and your favor follows your words. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18, 21. Then the Lord told Moses, tell the children of Israel, if they have spoken it in my ears, that's exactly what I'm going to do in their lives. So you got to begin to say, the Lord's going to work it out. The Lord's going to give me favor. The Lord's going to open doors. The Lord's going to make ways. You got to begin to say it. That our family's going to be blessed. Our children are going to serve the Lord. Our daughters are going to be daughters of destiny. Our sons are going to be sons of purpose. We got to begin to say it and stop calling them names. Woo! God is a good God. If you receive the word of God out there, raise your hand and let the redeem of the Lord say so. Father, thank you for the word of the Lord tonight. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for all that you are in our lives. Forgive us. Forgive us for saying the wrong things. Forgive our families. Forgive us for saying the wrong thing to our wives. 
Forgive us for saying the wrong thing to our children. Forgive us for saying the wrong thing to our husbands. Forgive us. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Thank you. We will speak life. We will speak and declare life. In the name of Jesus, we have favor. Somebody say, I 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 have favor. Oh, favor. Favor. I have favor. Call it into your life and watch it begin to manifest. You come too far to say negative things. You've come too far to be critical. You've come too far to be arguing week after week. I'm talking to somebody. Woo, I feel it in my bones. Woo, you come too far. God's been too good to you. Everything you got, God gave it to you. Oh, you owe the Lord praise. Everything you got, God gave it to you. Now, you have the responsibility to respond back to him. And just say thank you. Somebody say thank you. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say something good. If you can't say something good, don't say anything. Forgive us. Help us to proclaim and to declare your blessings over our lives. We love you. We appreciate you. We honor you today. In the name of Jesus, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Your words can save your marriage. Your words can save your son. Your words will save your daughter from running amok. Your word will lift your home. Your words will lift your children. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Oh, amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. In Jesus' name we pray. At this time, we have Minister Jeannie Baco come and lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passed all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you. Thank you, Lord, for your word today, Father God. Thank you for reminding us, Father God, that we need to guard our mouth, that we need to know what comes out of our mouth, that we need to praise just good things out of our mouth. Father, we just thank you for the blessing. We thank you for the word you keep pouring into us. Father, we declare and proclaim that your precious blood, we cover whatever belongs to us. We cover our house. We cover our children. We cover our church. We cover all the members of our church. We cover our choir member, each ministry, Father God, each man that we stand up and praise you, that your blood will cover us. Father, we pray that your blessing shall follow us everywhere we go. Father, we call you because just because of you, because of your love, because of your grace, because of your mercy, Father God. We pray, Father, we ask that you save this land. Save your land, save your people. Father, we repent and we ask that you keep on blessing us in the days to come. We love you, Lord. We give you glory, praise, and honor. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for saving us. Thank you. Thank you, Father, in your morning and Father God. We pray and receive it. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all your help. 
all your blessings. Thank you. In Jesus' time, name we pray. This time, Minister Marius Baco will come and lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today, we're going to read uh, Psalm 107. We said, Then the cry out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out for their distress. Yes. He sent his word and healed them. He delivered them from their destruction. Oh, Father, we confess our need for you today. We need your healing and your grace. We need hope restored. We need to be reminded that you work on behalf of those who love constantly, powerfully, and completely. Forgive us for, for trying to fix our situation on our own. Forgive us for running all different directions and situation in our own. Forgive us to spin our will to find help. When we, when we true help and healing must be found first in you. Forgive us for forgetting how much we need you above everyone and everyone else. We come to you and bring you the place we are hurting. We see where we know no one else is able to fully see or understand. You know the pain we carry, the burden, the care. You know where we need to be set free. We ask for your healing and grace to cover every broken place. Everyone, every headache, thank you that you are able to do far more than we could ever imagine. Thank you for you, mighty power, that act on behalf of your children. We reach up to you and know that you are restoring and redeeming every place of difficulty, every battle for your greater glory. Thank you that you will never waste our pain and suffering. We love you. We need you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey! Hey! Uh, amen. Somebody say thank you. The Lord's been good to you. Good to your children. Good to your family. Good to your life. You ought to give the Lord a thanks. Somebody say thank you. Minister Bobby Rouse, come and lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll be coming out of the book of 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. Father God, we face days of trouble. You stand by us in every situation. Please stand by us today and hear our prayers. Father God, we need your help today. We are concerned. We are pressed down on every side and don't actually know what to do or is it or is to come. This we do know. We must turn to you. You are our answer in time of trouble. We trust you. We are thankful for the Holy Spirit. He is our comforter and helper in time of need. We reply completely on him for strength we need. Today we need courage more than anything else, Father God. Today we have many questions and do not know the answers. So we turn to you for strength in the what questions. What will we do during the, this troubled time? We will follow you and obey you, Father. May this time provide opportunities to minister to someone else. This is our prayer. Give us courage to go on when we think we cannot. Give us the words to encourage others when there is little encouragement in our hearts. Give us the momentum we need to face another day and another day and another day with the grace of love. By facing your grace and love, we will be victorious over the virus. 
and may we show the love of others around us. In Jesus' powerful name, amen and amen. amen. Give us courage. Be encouraged. Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with you, whether soever thy go. Be strong and of a good courage. Somebody put it on the screen. Be strong and of a good courage. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Minister Jordan Simpkins, lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Lord, we pray today, Lord God, that, Lord, you are doing a great and mighty work in the faith of your believers today, Lord Jesus. There are those, Lord God, that have been straining their faith, God, through this season, God. They have been pushing their faith, Lord God, and their faith, Lord God, is getting weak. And I ask today, Lord Jesus, that you strengthen our faith, Lord God. So much so, Lord God, that we have the faith the size of a mustard seed, God. To send the mountain, Lord God, out of our way, God. To send the mountains, Lord God, of pain, God. To send the mountains of affliction, God. To send the mountains of hurt, God. To send the mountains, Lord God, that belittle our lives, God. To send the mountains of poverty, God. To send the mountains of stress, God. To send the mountains of depression, Lord God out of our lives, Lord God, and we shall be removed from us, Lord God. I thank you today, Lord Jesus, for the word pastor spoke, Lord Jesus. We're going to speak life, God. Not only that, we're going to speak faith, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for an increase of faith with our words, Lord Jesus, that we are speaking faith to our children, God. We're speaking faith to our marriage, God. We're speaking faith to our loved ones, Lord Jesus, that we won't tear anyone down, Lord God, but we, we pray for an increase in faith Build right now, Lord Jesus. Build us up, God. Up. Prepare us, God. Lead Build us and guide up. us, God. We thank you today, Build Lord Jesus, Jesus, that, Lord, you are going to increase our faith, Lord Jesus, yeah. that you're going to bless us, Lord God, that this too shall pass, Lord yeah. God, because nothing is impossible with you, Lord Jesus. So, Lord, we draw in closer to you, God. Yeah. We draw in nearer to you, God, and we bless your name today. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. Faith, we declare faith. Somebody out there say, Faith, thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your help. Maybe you're watching us today and just know we want to offer you Jesus. It's the greatest decision that you'll ever make when you accept Jesus into your life. Tomorrow is not promised. The death angel is passing by. And every day, you got to make sure that you're saved. Every day, you got to know that God lives in your heart. Every day, you got to know Jesus lives in your heart. That he's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Every day, you got to know for sure that if you died today, where you would go. So I offer Christ to you. I offer Jesus to you. It's the greatest decision that you will ever make. Come on, say it with me out there. Raise your hands right in your living room, right in your car, right where you are, watching on your iPad, watching on your television, watching on your big screen, wherever you are on your phone. Raise your hand with me and everybody say, Lord. I give you my whole heart. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me. I am saved. Say it again. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me. I am saved. Say it again. I am saved, sanctified, and am full of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say, I'm saved. Put it on the screen. I'm saved. I'm saved. I got God's power living in my life. I have favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Elder William Harris is going to come and lead us in prayer. Thank you. St. John chapter 16 and 33. It says, these things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. 
Father, we praise you today for the peace of God that's in our hearts, oh God. The peace of God that's in our minds, oh Father. We ask you right now, Lord, to go into every home. Go into everybody, Lord God. Give them peace in their home, Lord God. Let them be overcomers, oh God. We pray over our children in the home, Lord, that they would have peace, oh God. Peace with their parents. Peace in their houses. Peace in whatever they do, Lord God. Bless them in a special way, Lord God. Let the peace of God be in every home, Lord God. Go there, Lord God. Let your peace rest upon them. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we overcome the world. We shall overcome coronavirus. We will overcome every sickness. We will overcome every disease because Jesus has overcome the world. So we can overcome the world. We can overcome trouble. We can overcome tribulation right now. In the name of Jesus, bless them, Lord God. Give them peace in their minds as they do their homework in the house, oh God. Give them peace, oh God, in their homes today as they obey their parents in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you for the peace of God, for the peace of the Lord Jesus that came to give us in this dark and sinful world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Bless our children. Bless our children. Bless our sons. We pronounce the blessing. Somebody say the blessing. The blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We pronounce it over our children. They will grow up with a heart for God. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Our sons will serve the Lord. Our daughters will serve the Lord. Our grandchildren will serve the Lord. From generation to generation, thou art God. Yeah. Pastor Kyle Speller, please come and lead us in prayer. Thank you for all your goodness and all your mercy. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Thank God. You. Father, we praise you. Father, we worship you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we magnify your name. Thank you, Jesus, for life. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Your word says in the book of 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, and the eighth verse, Holy Spirit, you said that we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Hallelujah. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Father, we thank you for the manifestation of your life in our body, the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost in our body. And Father, we honor you today for your power in our bodies, Lord God. Father, we speak life to Lord God. We speak life to every body, Lord God. We speak life to every man woman boy and girl you will live you will rise you will live in the name of jesus and father we praise you today in jesus name because the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restored my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of darkness, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy. Surely goodness and mercy. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my lives. And we will dwell. We will dwell, church. We will dwell. Those of you listening online, we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we praise you. 
Oh we God, praise. we thank you. We oh praise. God, we give our all to we you. Praise. We worship your holy we name. Praise. Thank you, Jesus, for life. Thank you, Jesus. And we love you today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for all your help. Somebody out there say thank you. Thank you. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord what? forever. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in and watching us. Thank you for, for giving the heart, your heart to the Lord. Thank you for, for sharing the video. Thank you for inviting people on Sunday morning to watch us live. Thank you. Thank you for being a, a member of Emmanuel Christian Center. We do life together. And we do life together. And we're going to get through this together. And we have favor. Somebody say favor. And finally, thank you for those that, of you that have been consistent in giving. I just want to say thank you. I don't want to ask you for anything. I just want to say thank you. Some of you came by the church and left your tithe. Some of you went online. Some of you did your text giving. Some of you went to the went on the website. Thank you. Woo! God is a good God. The Lord is on our side. Goodness and mercy is following us wherever we go. God is on your side, and we have favor. Somebody just put on the screen favor. We have a tremendous amount of young people at Emmanuel Christian Center and that we want to encourage them. And tonight, uh, Miss Tyler Speller is going to pronounce the blessing over your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hi. So everybody, Numbers 6, 22 through 27. Read. Yes. And the Lord spoke, spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and speak unto his sons. Yes. Saying that... This wise ye shall pat, bless the children of Israel. Bless the children of Israel. Saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for waking us all up today and bringing us all together to talk about your word during this global pandemic, consuming every social, er, every bit of our social lives right now. I know that it seems like we're not going to get through this, but Jesus, you're always on time. So we, we live on your time. We live on your time. Times like these can be scary, but God said in 2 Timothy 1 7 for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and love and of sound mind so with that being said we need to pray without ceasing and we need to continue to speak life on everybody everyone that is in our lives every family member every essential worker every nurse every worker at Walmart everywhere and our world leaders and our world t without fear so please continue to watch over us and protect us from all the evils in this world in jesus mighty name i pray amen oh give the lord a praise thank you thank you lord thank you thank you for all your help somebody just shout help thank you lord we want to thank you for watching the night live god is a good god we'll see you right here on sunday morning at 10 o'clock a.m., God is a good God, and he loves you. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. God we serve. We serve. What a mighty God we serve, we serve. And we bow before him, let us bow the doors him. What a mighty God we serve, we serve. Oh, God bless you.